What's up, fellow Sambarians? So, I don't have my mic right now. My battery died, so I'm charging my mic. Apologize if the audio sounds a little different. But today, I'm going to be installing a custom exhaust that Special K has made uh, on this sandbar. So, I've been getting quite a lot of emails and messages about exhausts. So I have, I think I have two right now that are like the squid pipe that I have, but without a header. So you can run your stock exhaust manifold and then you can do the exhaust after, which is basically just the muffler. So if you're looking for a little bit of sound and you wanna keep your stock muffler, I will have a couple of those up on the website soon. Um, I'll grab them in a second and show you guys. But the one I'm going to be installing on this one, which will be another one that will be available, uh, it's very straightforward. This looks like the Suzuki one that I used to have on my truck, straight pipe with the muffler and then the turn, um, because he wants to run this with the bumper cover. The bumper cover is off right now. He took it off to make it easier for me to install this. But basically, it's just gonna, you know, whoop. And then he can run his cover and hide this beautiful valve cover, which shouldn't be hidden. <laughs> but anyways, he's gonna uh, cut some vent slots in it. I guess he's gonna make it pretty trick. But anyways, he wanted behind the bumper. So this will be an option too for you guys who want to run the mufflers behind the bumper with your stock manifold. I have to re-up on the headers. I just haven't done that due to financial stuff, but when I can accumulate some money to buy a bunch of those headers, I'll have some more of those in the store to buy. And then we can do a full squid pipe with header and muffler exhaust. But right now I will have two, I think two sets, I mean two mufflers have up on the website. Let me go grab those real quick and just show you. So depending on when you see this, um, they might be gone already. But this is going to be one that we will have on the website. It is a DC, mu DC muffler. It is the same muffler that I run on my white truck. Um, it has a really good tone to it. It's not loud and obnoxious. Um, it's, it's a pretty good hefty muffler, not like the evil energies that are really light and they're pretty loud. Uh, it does come with a new gasket. It comes with the hanger bracket to mount so it has a secondary hold on it. They're not very heavy, but it's just good to have a hanger. But this will again be one that mounts to your stock um, exhaust manifold. So if you can get an idea of what that looks like. Why am I so much in the way? There we go, kind of like, kind of like that. Just like mine, if you've seen my truck, which I'm sure you have, I just stuck my hand in Petito poop. Um, if you've seen my truck, which I'm sure you have, um, it looks exactly very similar to this. And it does have the second resonator on there. So basically it's kind of uh, giving it just a little, bit of, a little bit of back pressure since the piping is so short and it quiets it down a little bit. So we have this one that's got the blue pipe. And then we have just the plain silver edition. Um, again, these will both be on the website. I don't know for how long. They might sell pretty quick because I've been getting asked a bunch, but this will only bolt up to your stock manifold. And you're probably wondering, will this work on my van? These, um, these will work on your van. It is just that the truck, the back end sticks out a little bit farther than the van. So this muffler tip end might just be, you know, a few more inches away from the back of your van than it would be the truck. Like this is gonna bolt up to your truck and be within like, you know, real close and in line with everything. But the van is a little bit different because the back, the back end just goes straight down. There's no overhang basically. So it will work. I have ran in the past uh, an exhaust that was on my truck on my van and it just pushed it out a little bit farther. Nothing crazy, but it certainly is better than running nothing at all. 
but yeah so i'll have these up on my website these are like a we'll just call these a mini squid because it doesn't have the muffler portion but these will only bolt up to your stock manifold these are not designed to work with in the with the aftermarket header which that is a separate thing if that's what you want wait till i get some more headers in but today we're just going to be installing this i've made videos on how to remove your entire exhaust system so i'm going to remove it not really show a whole lot on how to do it but this will just be a, a video you can watch and hear how this sounds if you would like to run this um i would hook these up but i don't want to uh i don't want to run them so they're used they're brand new i don't want to pump a bunch of black crud through them but basically it's if you've heard mine that's what it's going to sound like okay so let's get this guy on here so uh if you're going to be removing your exhaust to install said mufflers um you really do want to let these these guys the heat shield on your exhaust manifold um soak with a good penetration lubricant because they are super rusty and you want to help them out as much as possible because otherwise the head will strip and then you'll have to grind them off to get your shield off and you need to get the shield off to get to the flange to take the stock exhaust system off so i have that soaking uh, i'm just going to do the time lapse of it all and uh yeah since i've already made videos on how to remove it it's pretty straightforward it's just a bunch of bolts and then it comes off the only thing you got to be worried about is your thermal sensor the carbureted sandbars only have thermal sensors uh like a temperature sensor no o2 sensors there's no o2 sensor it is not an o2 sensor it is a thermal sensor that senses if your exhaust is running super hot because your cat's clogged up or you're running lean, um, it will set that barbecue looking light up on your dash to go off. We will ground that to the frame because we don't, we don't need it. We're not going to have a catalytic converter in here anymore. So we'll ground the connection to that thermal sensor. If you do have an O2 sensor, that's different. That's an, that's going to be something that's either in your aftermarket header or in your stock exhaust manifold it is not part of your exhaust system it is in the header so you don't have to worry about that so let's do time lapse and i'll see you guys when i'm done to grind it just grind the the flanged uh portion of the bolt off and get that sucker off there i'm gonna uh oh i think i uh vibrated it so much uh just came out which is good because I, I wanted these holes to be empty, so in case you wanted to put a new heat shield on here, he can do that. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and get that off now. Get this off. that aside we need to save those now we can pull this back out of the way 
way so I don't hit it. Get this off now. And don't forget to disconnect your red little hoses that go to your air box before you try yanking this off. So, yes, there is in fact no thermal sensor in this muffler system. That's very interesting that they did away with that sensor. I mean, it is an expensive sensor just to buy in itself. I think it's almost a hundred bucks for the sensor, so I can see why they're getting rid of it. But it's like, why did they all of a sudden decide to stop running it? So, um, let's show you what I'm talking about. You got your little red hoses, your heater hoses, that work off this heat chamber, which I made a whole video about. Those leak and can suck exhaust system into your intake and it kills your engine. But basically what I'll do is I'll just uh, loop them to each other so it cancels it out. Um, and let's go ahead and replace the exhaust manifold gasket because uh, Scott gave um, this guy a new one let's stick the new muffler on there and see how she does um, I need a pair of dikes so I can cut these zip ties I'll be right back all right I went and grabbed a couple washers to install with the uh, knots here okay so unfortunately I can't show you what it looks like with the cover because obviously the cover's gone but you get the idea it's made to go behind the bumper actually it's supposed to go like this so it shoots the hot air in and then heats up your engine faster I think we're gonna install it like this uh, actually you know what I got some high temp uh, anti I'm gonna throw on those threads real quick. So usually with this, uh, we will have to run it and get it hot. The flange kind of warps a little bit due to heat when you're welding the flange to the pipe. So if it has a small exhaust leak in the beginning, it's okay. Get it really hot because it gets extremely hot here and then tighten it down and it will start to um, push it back to where it needs to be, so don't stress out about that. It can be massaged back. Needs a little bit of heat. Some heat and some muscle. Tighten it up. Guys, the patitos are all sleeping, but there's a pollito right there. <laughs> Red pollito likes to hang out. Okay, let's get that nice and tight so it sucks to the exhaust manifold. And hopefully it kills any exhaust leak. Okay. up um, I was given a heat shield right here uh, I'm not entirely sure where Scott or special case had intended to use this so I'll have to ask him but at this point in time I won't install it because I'm not sure what he had in mind but um, let's give this thing a start and see how it sounds okay let's go ahead and start this up and see how it sounds Thirsty. Thirsty, I never have anything when I want to drink. <laughs> 